Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Line Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 2,000-point battle between my Gene Stealer cult. Yes, those blips are Gene Stealer cult and Taylor's Tau. So the story that we've got going on here is that this was uh, this is a planet that had newly come under control of the greater good, um, and the Tau had arrived to uh, help uh, the transition uh, over from the Imperial forces. Uh, but unbeknownst to them, deep underground, they had another problem on their hands, which was a Gene Stealer cult infestation on this planet. So when they arrived to try to help them uh, garner back in, go into the greater good, into the full Old, um, the Gene Stealer cult decided this was a perfect opportunity to rise up and uh, reclaim uh, claim this planet for the four-armed emperor and let them uh, take it back. So the Tau had to fight them back to try to uh, solidify their newly found gains on this planet. Uh, so that's the story that we've got going on. We are going to be playing... Um Ambitious Surge, Ambitious Surge for uh, which is a Maelstrom mission from the Chapter Approved 2019. Essentially, it's like all of the other um, all of the other missions that they have from 2019 for Maelstrom. So it's the basic three cards. Uh, but the only difference is uh, for this one is that uh, during your at the beginning of your movement phase, your opponent can choose one of your active um, active cards, and if you score that during your turn or your opponent's turn, so the next two turns. Um, you score an additional point for that. So if it was worth D3, you would have D3 plus one. If it was worth one, you would get two. Um, so basically, if you're having to choose the card, you're going to choose the one that you think your opponent is not going to be able to achieve so that they uh, have a harder time getting it. So uh, that is the story. That is the mission. Before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Gene Stealer Cult, I'll be running two battalion detachments and a vanguard detachment. Leading off the first battalion detachment, we have a Patriarch and a Magus. We have three Acolyte Hybrid squads, one 10 man with hand flamers, one 20 man with an icon and five heavy rock saws, and one 5 man. We have two Goliath Rock Grinders with clearance incinerators. For the second battalion detachment, we have a Patriarch, a Magus, and a Jekyll Alphys. We have two 10 man Neophyte Hybrid squads. Each squad has a mining laser and a grenade launcher. And then there's a five man Acolyte Hybrid squad. We have a Ridge Runner with a heavy mining laser. We have a Colt Lehman Russ with a battle cannon, heavy bolter, and multi melt sponsons. Then for the Vanguard detachment, we have a Primus. We have a Biophagus. And last but not least, we have two eight-man aberrant squads, one with hammers and one with picks. And for the Tau, he'll be running two battalion detachments and an outrider detachment. Leading off the first battalion detachment, we have Shadow Sun and her drones and an ethereal. We have three five-man fire warrior squads. We have a fire sight marksman. We have a six-man crisis battlesuit squad with burst cannons. For the Outrider Detachment, leading it off, we have a Cold Star Commander and a Cadre Fireblade. We have two five-man Pathfinder squads. We have four Shield Drones. We have one squadron of three Piranhas with Burst Cannons. Then for the third battalion, or the third detachment, the second battalion detachment, we have Cold Star Commander, Ethereal, and a Cadre Fireblade. And we have two five-man fire warrior squads and a 10-man breacher squad with a guardian drone. We have a six-man stealth suit squad with two fusion blasters. We have a devilfish. And last but not least, we have a riptide with a heavy burst cannon. Going over deployment for the Tau here, we've got um, we've got uh, pathfinders over here along with a uh, markers uh, firesight marksman over here. We've got some fire warriors and the drone squad over here. We've got cold, uh, cold, cold star commander over here. We got Riptide here in the middle. We've got three squads of fire warriors over here. We've got another one of the um, marker light bros, the pathfinders over here. I just said that word. We got the devilfish inside of the devilfish. We have the uh, the breacher squad along with a fire sight, uh, oh, fire blade, fire cadre fire, fire blade. We've got another Cadre Fireblade next to it over here, Ethereal. We've got Shadow Sun over here, another Ethereal, another squad of, um, whatchamacallit, Fire, Warrior. Fire Warriors. I don't know why I'm having the hardest time with Tau today. <laughs> we got the Piranhas over here. We've got the other Cold Star Commander over here. 
and we've got the um, the stealth suits up front over here. In Deep Strike, he has his um, his uh, crisis suits. Uh, deployment for the Gene Stealer Cult. Yeah, we all blips. <laughs> so uh, that is deployment as of right now. Uh, the Tau are going to be going first, unless I can seize the initiative. Looking for a six. Show me that fill first. Yeah, with the fill phase. Woo! We'll come back to you after movement phase for Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, the cards for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. I got behind enemy lines, blood and guts, and secure objective one. So we'll come back to you after that. All right, movement phase here for the Gene Stealer Cult on turn one. My Jackal Alphys moved up over this way. Uh, he advanced up over here. He was going to be just out of range of that objective, so I, had, I rolled a one for the advance. So I had to re-roll that uh, to get there with some CP to re-roll it. Uh, these guys just moved up over here looking on these dude bros. Uh, my uh, tank moved up five inches, so he's still uh, going to get grinding uh, advance over here. And he advanced up, and then the Ridge Runner just moved up over there. So that's going to be it for the movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, we're going to start off the shooting phase with my Jackal Alphys. Uh, she declared his Firesight Marksman over here as her plus one target. Uh, she's also going to uh, shoot into him. So she's minus one to hit because of moving, but because of uh, her making him the target, she's going to be plus one to hit, so she's going to be hitting on a two. Uh, she also has uh, the gift from beyond as a relic there, allowing her plus two to wound. So this is going to be hitting on a two. That's a hit. Uh, strength four, tough. I was really glad she had that plus one to hit. Uh, she's going to be uh, strength four, toughness T3. Uh, so it would be wounding on threes, now wounding on ones. <laughs> so wounding on a two, uh, but doing a mortal wound on a four plus because of the plus two to wound from uh, the weapon there. With a six, would have been doing a mortal wound anyway. So he takes one mortal wound, AP minus two, six up save. Uh, nope, no save there. So it's going to be D3 mortal wounds. He's got what, four total? Three total, so I need to roll a two or higher on this one. Oh, of course I roll a one. I'm going to spend a CP to re-roll that because I really want to kill him dead. Still alive. Still alive, and I've got a t-shirt for that. All right, so now my Lehman Russ here is going to fire. He's going to fire the multi melters and the Heavy Bolter into his, uh, into his stealth suit squad over there. And he's going to fire the battle cannon into the devil fish. So we're going to go with the shots into the devil fish first. It's going to be uh, two D6 shots because of grind in advance. So that's going to be six shots. He's going to be hitting on fours. That is going to be three hits. Uh, strength eight. So looking for threes to wound. That's going to be three wounds at AP minus two. Um, five, up saves. five up saves. Making none of them. So that's going to be three D3 damage. That's going to be three, four, five, six damage. He's got six up, feel no pain. Making one of them, so taking five damage. And then we got the two multi melter shots into them, hitting on sixes because he moved, and they're minus one to hit. Getting one hit, wounding on uh, two. That's a wound, AP minus four. four. In cover. In cover. They have a, two up, so they have a six, up. six up safe. Nope, not going to make it. So, uh, what's their, how many wounds do they have? Two wounds, so D6 damage. Four, that will be one dead. And then we've got the Heavy Bolter. No hits. All right, now my Ridge Runner here is going to fire into the Devilfish. He's going to have heavy D3 shots with this heavy mining laser, and he's going to put the heavy stubbers into these guys over here. All right, so it's going to be one shot with the heavy mining laser. Uh, minus one to hit because he moved with a heavy weapon. That's going to be a hit. Strength nine, so looking for a three to wound. No, no wound. And then six shots with the heavy stubber into them, hitting on sixes because they're minus one to hit. That's going to be two hits. That's going to be, two, what's their toughness? T4. T4. I think that's going to be one wound. AP nothing. So two up. Two up save. Uh, it's a five. He's good. All right, so that's going to be it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. My aberrants here are going to charge into his, um, into his, was a pathfinders over here. I don't know why I'm having a tough time with these towers into the pathfinders over here. Uh, so they're going to fire. Two of them have line of sight onto my dude bros over here. And then the two squads over here, the white ones have, uh, have are within six inches for the greater good, but only the four guys on the side over there actually have line of sight. I managed to block out the line of sight with this thing here. So we're going to do it all together since it's all going to be the same thing. So it's going to be about eight shots total coming in here. So hitting on sixes. So it's going to be two hits. 
strength five. five so looking for threes to wound that's gonna be two wounds ap no ap so we got two five up saves making neither of those one damage a piece though so five up feel no pains making neither of those so that's one guy that's dead so the reason he was hitting on uh, sixes there instead of fives is that he made his own set and they don't have that ability with that they're not tau actually they're whatever his his own the taylor set <laughs> i like that the taylor set i like that a lot all right so here we go they're going to charge into them now um and 10 inches will get them in all right so here come the attacks with the uh picks first we've got two attacks each with them hitting on threes that is going to be a bunch of hits there which is pretty good and then these are going to be um looking uh they're twisted helix so strength six so looking for twos to wound that is all wounds. So that's going to be four, six, ten, eleven wounds at AP minus two. They're oh, they're just dead. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And that is first strike. And then I piled in over here. So he's going to have, I think, uh, three guys that are going to be able to attack over here yeah. without piling in. So, so um, not the leader. So not the leader. So it's going to be three attacks. Five ups. Five ups to hit. Oh. One hit. One guy's Strength three. three. So fives to wound. Kind in a wound. Don't do it. Don't do it. Five up armor save. No. Five up feel no pain. Oh, of course he takes a wound. All right. So that's going to be it for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn one. Um, I did score blood and guts and I did score secure objective one. And I'm like right on the line, but not the whole unit is not behind enemy lines over here. So I did not score that one. Uh, so that is going to be it for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here. I scored three points, including first strike. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Tau here on turn one. All right, the card's drawn for the Tau here on turn one. He got Defend Objective 3, Assassinate, and uh, Mission Critical Objective uh, number 5, uh, which is, I think, over there. So mission, which number 3 is back over there. I'm going to choose number 3. My opponent had chosen uh, Behind Enemy Lines, by the way, for that extra one. So I'm going to do Defend Objective 3, which is going to be hard for him to hold in for two turns for the next two. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back, or for the uh, cards. We'll come back to you after the movement phase. Moving phase for the Tau here on turn one. Uh, this squad of Pathfinders moved up into the building. His Firesight Marksman moved up uh, to the building over here. Uh, these guys had moved around to the front of the building over here. Uh, his Riptide stood still. I think the drones shifted, shifted over, as did the Cold Star Commander. Um, and Shadow Sun moved over here. The, everyone just kind of like shifted around a bit. Um, over on this edge over here. This ethereal moved up into the building over here. Um, these guys, the one squad that was engaged fell back out of combat, but the other guys stayed still. Uh, his Cold Star Commander moved up over here. Um, the drones from Shadow Sun moved up over here, along with the, um, the Devilfish, the Piranhas, and his uh, stealth suits stayed still over there. So that's gonna be it for the movement phase for Tau. We will come back to you with the uh, shooting phase. All right, the fire, the Contra Fire Blade here is going to start us off by firing his marker light into this guy over here. You get another three. That is a hit. Now the Fire Sight Marksman is going to fire into my Lehman Russ over here. He's going to be hitting on a four because he moved. That is a hit. Last hit. And now this five-man squad here is going to fire. Two of them are going to fire into my Rock Grinder. Three of them are going to fire into the Lehman Russ. So who do you want to do first? Um, Lehman Russ. Lehman Russ first. So hitting on fives because they moved, but re-rolling ones because of the uh, marker light. So just the one goes in. He's going to spend a CP to bump that up D3 for an additional two. And the other two into my Rock Grinder over here. Again, hitting on fives, re-rolling ones. Reroll that one. No. All right, so now his devil fish here is going to fire all of his burst cannons and gun drones into my aberrants, and then he's going to fire his two seeker missiles into my Lehman Russ. Uh, because of the, the, the second marker light on there allows him to fire at regular ballistic skill, and then because he's got four on him now because of spending that CP, he will not suffer the penalty for moving and shooting with a heavy. So what do you want to start with first? We're going to start with the two seeker missiles into the Lehman Russ here, so hitting on fours. Three rolling one. We're rolling ones. No need to. Would have been good without even the marker lights. Holy cow. All right. So that's going to be two hits. Strength eight. Strength eight. So looking for a four to wound. Getting one wound. AP minus three. AP minus three. So looking for a six up save. Nope. That's going to go through. D6 damage. Doing two damage. 
And now the regular shots into my aberrants over here, hitting on fours. Okay. All right, so three hits here. <laughs> Strength, Strength five. five, so looking for threes to wound. <laughs> <laughs> See, right around now, if I was the one rolling this, like a Phil face would have come on into the screen and like given oh, me a wow, look. Bro, do it. <laughs> Make it a happy you want to see it? Okay, let's see how your happy Phil face will be coming in. All right, now the middle squad over here is going to fire into my aberrants. They're going to have um, hitting on fours. No rerolls on this one. Threes again. All right, and hitting on threes. Oh, wounded on threes, I should say. So that's going to be uh, four wounds there. These are going to be AP nothing, so five up armor saves. Making two of those with fill faces and then five up ignoring wounds. Ignore one of them. All right, so his warlord, his ethereal over here has a warlord trait that um, you can choose a unit each turn. Uh, he chose these guys over here, and these guys are going to be within six inches of him, meaning uh, on a wound roll of a six, they will get an additional AP to the shot. Um, they, uh, he's going to give them that, and then they're also within rapid fire range and within six inches of the Kadra fire blade here. So that's why they're going to get all the extra shots into them over here. Hitting on fours, no rerolls. And then wounded on three, six is our initial AP. So we got two with the additional AP and then two regular ones. So we'll do the two regular ones. These are going to be uh, AP zero, so five up saves, uh, making neither of those. And then we've got two five up in uh, f uh, six up saves because of the uh, AP minus one. Don't make either of those. So it's going to be four total damage going in here. These are going to be looking for five up um, ignoring wounds. Ooh. And I ignore three of those with fill faces. Get the extra. This squad's going to fire into these guys over here. Um, again, they're not going to get the additional AP because they're not within six inches of his ethereal back there. Hitting on threes. Oh, fours. Wounding on threes. So that's going to be five wounds. There you go. That's no AP. No AP on this. So five up armor saves. Making one of those and then five up ignoring wounds. Uh, ignoring one of those, so three wounds go through. And now Shadow Sun is going to fire into my aberrants over here. Uh, the dispersed this fusion. is the dispersed fusion blasters. So assault hit, two per gun. Assault two per gun. So it's going to have two guns there, hitting on two. twos. That's going to be all hits. Strength seven. Strength seven. So looking for threes to wound. That's going to be all wounds there. How, it's AP on this. Um, because of those two sixes, it'll be minus. Four. The two sixes are minus four, and the other one's going to be at least minus three, so they're going to go through their armor there. What's the damage on these? Um, D3. D3 a piece? Um, We're going to have to figure this one out. Yeah. All right, so it's actually within half range there, so it's going to be two D3, and then you choose the highest. So, so the two becomes a one because of their ability there. Uh, feel no pain. Makes that one. And then you got the next one. Oh, that one's cocked there. Let me reroll that. All right, so four minus one is going to be three. Ignoring two of them, so I take one wound on a guy. Sorry, it was D3, so I'm going to re-roll that, uh, that last one just in with one of them there. Nope, I don't ignore that, so I'm going to take a wound on a guy. And then the next one is going to be uh, two again. Uh, minus one. Nope, feel that one, so that's going to be a dead guy. And then the last one is going to be two minus one. And I feel that. And now the two light missile pod shots. Twos. That's going to be hitting on twos. Wounded on three. Wounded on seven. three. Strength seven. That's going to be two wounds. Minus one. Minus one. So two six up armor saves. Nope. Don't make either of those. D3, each. D3 damage each. So the first one is going to be one. Feel no pain. Nope. He's going to be dead. The next one is D3, right? Yeah. So that becomes two. And I don't ignore either, so that's two dead guys. So now his piranha's gonna fire. One guy's gonna fire his main gun into uh, this guy over here. And then all the rest of the regular guns are gonna fire into the rock grinder. And all of the seeker missiles are gonna fire into my Lehman Russ over here. So we're gonna go with the, um, the shots into my aberrant over there. So it's 12 shots hitting on Four. fours. No rerolls. No re and then wounded on threes. That's gonna be two, two wounds. At minus one. Two at minus one because of the uh, because of the set uh, tet that he's got there. So he's gonna be uh, looking for six up armor saves. Nope, neither of those. And then was it one damage a piece? One damage. 
One damage apiece here, so these are now going to be looking for uh, five up ignoring wounds. No, he's dead. And that is first uh, first strike. All right, now we're going to do uh, eight shots that do have the extra AP into the rock grinder over here. These are going to be hitting on uh, fours. All right, not bad there. Yeah, that's real good, compared, especially compared to the rest of the yeah, shooting. Uh, these are going to be strength uh, uh, five. five, so uh, fives to wound. That's going to be no wounds. And then we got the other ones here hitting on fours. And then fives to wound. That's going to be four wounds there with uh, no AP on these ones. So these are going to be uh, four up armor saves, making uh, two of them. And then um, six up uh, uh, rugged construction, ignoring wounds. Making one of those, take one. And now we've got the Seeker missiles into my Lehman Russ over here. Four shots and hitting on fours, fours because of all the marker wounds, uh, marker lights there, rerolling ones. No need for the ones, but getting two hits. Fours to wound, strength eight, toughness yep. eight. Getting one wound, minus. minus three, so looking for a six up. Show me that fill first. Knew the opposite of that, so D6 damage. Five damage. All right, so now his uh, stealth suits here are gonna fire into my rock grinder. Uh, when he targets them, I'm gonna spend one CP on evasive driving, which is one of the new stratagems from uh, the greater good, which allows me to treat AP minus one and AP minus two as minus one, uh, as uh, AP zero. So his burst cannons, because he's got advanced targeting system and the, uh, the, 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 the up gun, which is uh, the uh, the his uh, set uh, ability from his choose choose your own set, um, he would have been AP minus two on those burst cannons. So now I'm going to be AP. It's going to be AP zero on those. Still going to be AP minus four on the fusions, but I figure at least give myself a, a fighting chance over here. So here we go. Uh, these are going to be hitting on fours, rerolling ones because of the dr uh, the drone that's over there from Shadow Sun. So all right, reroll that one. These are the burst cannon shots, yes. correct? All right. Okay, and then these are going to be strength five, five so looking for five. fives to wound. Uh, okay, I didn't need to spend the oh CAP. <laughs> <laughs> and then the two fusion blasters. Force. Force to hit. Rerolling one. Rerolling one. Come on, baby, big money. Oh, that's a hit. Here we go, strength eight, so threes to wound. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's going to spend a CP to replay. Uh, reroll that one. Oh, into Ooh. a six. AP minus four is going to go straight through. So then uh, within, nine. within nine, so within half range. So 2d6 takes the highest. Uh, getting a four there, which is pretty good. Uh, six up, ignoring those wounds. Ignoring one of them, so I take three. This Cold Star Commander here is going to fire into this rock grinder. Uh, he does have the relic that allows him to reroll hit and wound rolls of one. So these are going to be uh, hitting on twos. Rerolling ones, no, that's all hits though. And then strength eight, eight so threes to wound, rerolling ones. Reroll that one. Okay, not meant to be, so that's gonna be uh, two at minus, four. at minus four. So those are gonna go straight through. So D6 each. So it's gonna be a total of seven there. So we're gonna have uh, seven, six up ignoring wounds. Oh, ignoring four of them, taking three. And now his uh, Riptide here is going to fire. He's going to fire the smart missiles into my rock grinder and the uh, heavy burst cannon into the Lehman Russ. Uh, he did spend a CP on uh, branched Nova Charge. Um, so, and he also spent a CP on command and control node. Uh, so that's going to be, um, what's it? What 18, shots into 18 shots into the Lehman Russ with the main gun and the three, and the three up invul onto him there. So. All right, so here we go into, we'll do, which one's first? The Lehman Russ, or the smart missiles, the rockets into the guy there. So hitting on threes, or oh, fours. Uh, Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones because of the uh, marker light. All right, reroll those two ones there. All right, not meant to be, so that's gonna be three uh, hits. Strength five. Strength five, so fives to wound. That is gonna be one wound. Rerolling because of uh, command and control node. That's going to be three wounds. That's There we go. That's how you do that. Minus two. AP minus two. So looking for six up armor saves. Uh, not making any of those. One damage a piece. Six up ignoring wounds. Oh, not ignoring any. And now the main gun into my Lehman Russ over here. Fours. Hitting on fours. Rerolling re ones. Reroll. Yep. Reroll those three ones. 
All right, pretty good. Strength six, so wounding on fives. Rerolling because of command and control node. So getting those two and then rerolling everything else. Ooh, much better on that reroll. That's how you do that. So that's going to be five, six, seven total there. And these are going to be AP, AP minus two. So looking for five up saves. Making one, two, three, four. So taking three wounds. So he's still alive. Never mind. Two damage piece. He's dead. Uh, he's not within six inches, so it doesn't matter if he explodes. Womp womp. All right, that's going to be it for the Tau here on turn one. My opponent did score mission critical, holding objective number five in this building back over here that he's got surrounded there. Um, and he's got the other two that he did not uh, accomplish there. Uh, he did get first strike, though, so leaving the score at three to two to the Gene Stealer Colt. And we will come back to you with the cards drawn for the Gene Stealer Colt here on turn two. All right, so I drew behind enemy, or I still had behind enemy lines, and then I drew Master of the Warp. So where victory point if you manifest or deny a psychic power during your turn, during this turn, and then if you manifest or deny three or more psychic powers, score D3 victory points instead. And then I got secure objective five, so score one victory point if you control objective marker, five at the end of your turn. So we'll come back to you after movement phase. Movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult. My Jaffel, ja Jaffel, my Jackal Elphis stayed still back over here. Uh, my Rock Grinder, uh, these guys disembark from the Rock Grinder, and then the Rock Grinder moved up over this way. Uh, these guys disembarked from the other Rock Grinder, and then the Rock Grinder moved up over that way, and my Ridge Runder stood still. Then, out of the shadows, in came my 20-man squad over here. I put them down and then moved them uh, D6 inches, rolled a two, and spent my last CP, because I, I spent it before, I've been spending a lot of CP on a lot of pregame stuff. So these guys then moved six, I rolled a six on that, so they are three inches away over here for the charge, which is pretty good. Uh, in came my Patriarch, my two um, Maguses, and a squad of Neophytes. Over here, I've got my Aberrant squad, along with the Primus, and my uh, Biophagus. And over here, I've got my Aberrant, uh, my, my Patriarch, and the um, Neophytes. So, um, when my uh, Primus dropped in, he's going to declare uh, the Cold Star Commander and the... Um, and the Riptide as his targets because I gave him the upgrade from the Greater Good to allow him to do two, to two uh, uh, options there for rerolling wounds. And that's who he's going to choose for them. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. JK Psychic Phase. <laughs> I almost forgot that one. Uh, so we're going to start with my Megas over here. I spent one CP on him to give him uh, Cult Psyche. Uh, which is from a uh, stratagem from the uh, new Greater Good book. It allows him to cast two powers, and it also allows him to um, get plus one to his uh, to his charge for every other um, psyker that is near him here. So I've got two other psykers that are near him here. So he's going to have plus two this uh, roll. I'm going to cast um, Mass Hypnosis onto his Riptide over here. So... See, that goes off, and on a seven it does with that plus two. Good thing I spent that CP in the beginning. And then I gave him uh, the uh, psychic power from the bladed cog called Undying Vigor. It's a warp charge of six. This is from Greater Good as well. Um, and uh, I cast it on a bladed cog, because I'm running, my two battalions are bladed cog, and then the one vanguard detachment is twisted helix. Uh, so the bladed cog here, I can pass it on to, within 12 inches of bladed cog unit, and they get a five up, feel no pain. So I'm going to cast it onto my 20-man squad over here. Uh, these are going to be getting, um, looking for a six to go off, so a four on the dice because of the plus two. <laughs> All right, so instead he just uh, perils there. So he takes D3 mortal wounds, takes one mortal wound. At least I rolled another one. I'll take that. My other Magus over here is going to cast Smite over there. Uh, that will go off on a seven, doing D3 mortal wounds. Doing three mortal wounds to your, uh, to your shield drones here. Um, they do get feel no pains against psychic powers. But they don't. Oh, they can't pass off psychic powers. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what the change was. So they do get feel no pains here. Five ups, making one. So two of those drones will be dead. And now my patriarch is going to cast um, uh, bite from beyond onto this uh, twenty man acolyte squad there, and that will go off on a ten. And now my patriarch over here is going to cast massive um, uh, mental onslaught onto his cold star commander there. Uh, that will go off on a seven. So now we roll a d6 each. Plus, I get plus one because I'm leadership ten. You're leadership nine. Uh, four and a four. So he will take a mortal wound. 
Yeah, he's got six up feeling the pain because of Austin Stone. Nope, so he's going to take one. The next one, I rolled a four, so he takes a second mortal wound. Takes that one. Roll it again. Six, so he that will end it there, so he just takes two mortal wounds. All right, so into the shooting phase now. This squad here is going to fire all of their pistols into the uh, drone squad over there, hitting on fours. And then fives to wound, because toughness four. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five wounds there. AP nothing, so five, four up armor saves. Failing four of them, and then feel no pains. Five ups. Oh, one will survive. And then my Magus over here is going to fire his auto pistol in there. That's going to be a hit. That is a cocked dice. That is not a wound. The other Magus is going to do the same thing. That's a hit. That's not a wound. All right, so now my uh, my squad of neophyte hybrids here are going to fire. All the auto guns are going to go into that drone, and then the uh, mining laser and the grenade launcher are going to go into the riptide. So we're going to go with the auto cannons, uh, the auto guns first, hitting on fours. Alrighty, not super great, but wounded on fives. That's not bad. I'll take that. So that's four wounds, four four ups. Failing two of them, and then uh, feel no pains. Five ups. Uh, no on that one, he won't be alive. All right, so now the mining laser is gonna fire into the uh, Riptide over here. So it's gonna be heavy one, but he ignores the penalty for moving with heavy weapons for being bladed cog, hitting on a four. That's a hit. Wounding on a three. That's a wound. AP minus three. So three up invul save because of his uh, uh, branch Nova charge there. No, that's gonna go through. You're gonna spend a CP to re-roll that? All right, it's gonna spend a CP to re-roll that. No, it's not gonna happen, so D6 damage. Six damage. He does get six up field of pain here. All right, six For the stones of stone. Getting one six there. Oh, that one's cocked there, so that's a. No, 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 it was a cocked, I promise you. <laughs> See, there you go, making two. And now the grenade launcher is gonna fire into him as well. That's a hit. That is not a wound, though. My Jackal Alphys is going to fire into his Firesight Marksman over here. That is going to be a hit. That is a wound with a mortal wound, so he is just uh, dead with that, mor with that mortal wound. These Acolytes here are going to fire into the Far Squad over there. Hitting on fours. That's going to be three hits. Wounding on fours. It's going to be one wound. AP nothing. So three up save because they're in cover. Good. All right, so now my rock grinder over here is going to fire into his squad over here. We're going to go with the clearance incinerator first. Heavy 2d6 shots. So that's going to be nine shots. Sorry, that was hits because uh, it's automatically hits. Strength five, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be two, four, six, seven wounds at AP minus one. So um, five up saves because they are in cover with plus one, minus one, right? So uh, five up saves. Uh, no, they will be dead. <laughs> now my Ridge Runner is going to fire into his Devil Fish over here, so it's going to be heavy D3 with the Mining Laser. So it's going to be three shots here, hitting on fours, because he didn't move. So that's going to be two hits, wounding on threes. That's going to be one wound, AP minus three, three ups, six up save. Nope, that's going to go through, D6 damage. Going to do three damage there, so he has uh, six up field no pain because of the drone that's over there. I'm not gonna allow myself no, to none of them there. And the heavy stubber into him as well. Uh, that's gonna be two. No wounds. And then my squad of neophytes back there is gonna fire. Auto guns are gonna go into the drones. The mining laser and grenade launcher are gonna go into the um, into the devilfish. We're gonna do the mining laser first, hitting on a four because they're bladed cog, ignoring the heavy penalty there. That's a hit. That is a wound. AP minus three. Six up save. Oh no, D, uh, D6 damage. That's four damage. So that's gonna be four six ups. If he makes any of these. Oh, he makes one, he's still alive. And then the grenade launcher into him as well. Ooh, not a hit. And then eight auto gun shots there, minus one to hit into those uh, drones there. So he's gonna be hitting on fives, getting one hit. Uh, but a wound onto them there, AP nothing. Four up. That's cocked. 
That good. And now my rock grinder here is going to fire the uh, clearance incinerator into the piranhas and heavy stubber into the piranha, into the uh, devilfish. So we'll do the heavy stubber first. That is going to be one hit because he moved. No wound on that one. And then the clearance incinerator is going to get five shot hits. Strength five, T5, fours to wound. That's going to be four wounds at AP minus one. Five up saves. Making two of them, so they take two damage. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, my aberrants here are going to charge into his, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the fire warriors here and his ethereal. Um, he's also going to choose for the greater good to have Shadow Sun fire in Overwatch here as well. So this is going to be sixes to hit with all of, with just them, or is this, yeah, right? Yeah, just with the uh, first fire warrior squad there, hitting on sixes. So that's going to be uh, four hits, not bad. And these are strength five, right? So wounding on threes. So that's gonna be four wounds. Uh, no AP on these, so it's gonna be four five up armor saves. Making two of those, and then five up ignoring wounds. No, I feel those, so one will be dead. And now Shadow Sun's shots are coming in here. Light missile pod. No hits there. And then we've got, these are the uh, dispersed uh, fusion. Getting one hit there. Strength six, right? Seven. Oh, strength seven. So th threes to wound still. That's going to be a wound. AP minus four. So that's going to go through their armor that saved there. So it's going to be D3 damage. Three damage, which goes down to two damage. Five up, ignoring wounds. And I ignore one of them, so I take a wound. So I need a nine inch charge to get into the fire warriors over here. Not gonna make it. All right, so now my patriarch over here is gonna charge into his stealth suits. Uh, he has the amulet of the void worm, so we cannot fire Overwatch here. So I'm looking for a nine inch charge to get him in. And he's in. So now my uh, rock grinder over here is gonna charge into the piranhas. So we do have some Overwatch from them, right? So we're gonna have, uh, it's four shots each for the regular burst cannons from them, right? With AP. With, oh yes, four, uh, four uh, shots each from the three of them. Uh, with AP, extra AP on this. So, uh, hitting on sixes. Uh, no hits there. And then we've got an additional bunch of shots from the other ones. All right, and then the regular ones here, these are gonna be hitting on six. We're gonna do this twice, just for ease there. So that's gonna be one hit. And why don't you just roll it again and then we'll see that there. So one hit so far, uh, just the one hit. Oh, two hits, sorry. <laughs> uh, two hits. These are going to be strength five, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting one wound. AP nothing on these ones, so uh, four up save. No, fail that. Six up ignoring wounds. No, so he's going to take one wound, but his charge distance is definitely in. And now my acolytes here are going to charge into the piranhas. They're in. And now these guys are going to charge into the piranhas and the stealth suits because it doesn't make a difference there. Now they're not in. And now my rock grinder over here is going to charge into the red squad over here. So they are going to fire overwatch at me over here. What are you looking for? I need more dice. Oh, one dice. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be looking for sixes. Getting two, three hits there. Pretty good. Strength five, so five's to wound. That is going to be one wound. That's a save. And his charge distance is going to be in. And now my acolytes over here are going to charge into the red squad only. So the far squad over there is going to greater good into them over here. Hitting on sixes. Getting three hits. Looking for threes to wound. That's one wound. AP nothing, so five up save. No, that's going to be a dead guy, but their charge distance is maybe in. All right, so now this squad over here is going to charge. They're going to charge into all of these guys over here. So what are you going to start with first? Um, well, I'll greater good. Okay, he's going to greater everything good with everything he can at this point. So it's going to be those guys, the um, Fireblade, and then the one squad in the middle over there. Although I'm charging into them as well, so I may as well. So... Um, so we're gonna go. Let's start. Let's go over this way. So we'll start with this squad over here. How many can see? Like two. Two guys can see them over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they are in rapid fire, but not. So they're in rapid fire, but not in range of his Kadra Fireblade over there. So sixes. No hits from them. Then we'll do this squad may as well, since you got all the dice over there in your hands. Sixes. They are in range for his extra stuff there. So it's gonna be three hits. Looking for threes to wound. That is going to be two wounds. No AP on these, right? 
So looking for five ups. Making neither of those. So that's going to be two dead guys over there. And then this squad over here is going to fire into them. Uh, one guy is not in rapid fire, so it's going to be two less shots from them. Getting two hits there. That is one wound. Not a save. The Fireblade Cadre, or Cadre Fireblade. <laughs> Fireblade Cadre. Uh, no hits there. Now this Cold Star Commander is going to fire with greater good. Sixes, getting one hit. Strength eight. Strength eight's a two to wound. That's a wound. Goes straight through the armor there. And the last Cold Star Commander is going to be firing. Uh, burst cannons. High output burst cannons here. Hitting on sixes. Getting one hit. Strength five. Strength five. That's a wound. Minus one. Minus one AP because of his AT, uh, ATS. Six up. No, that's a dead guy. And the missile pod. No hits there. And here comes their uh, charge distance. On a five inch charge, they're in. All right, so into the fight phase, we're going to start over here with the rock grind, uh, heavy rock uh, saws first into his um, into his dude bro here. So we're going to fight, attack with them. They've got might from beyond off, so they're going to be uh, three attacks each. So it's going to be five, 15 attacks, hitting on threes, rerolling ones because of the cult icon. Rerolling ones because of the cult icon. Okay, not meant to be there. And these are going to be uh, strength 10. Oh, uh, no. Uh, yeah, strength 10 because there's uh, Might from Beyond gives them plus one strength, so strength five times two, strength 10, so threes to wound. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at AP minus four. So he's got his three up in vol save because of uh, the branch Nova charge here. So it's nine three ups. Whoa. Failing just the one, so he just takes two damage. And six up feeling the pain. Of course he makes one. He takes one damage. All right, so now I'm, uh, I'm going to have six guys, including my leader, attacking into his Cold Star Commander here. These are going to be hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of the Colt Icon. All right, pretty, really good there. That's two misses. These are now going to be uh, strength five, so toughness T5, so looking for fours to wound. Sixes would be AP minus four, but he's got a four up in Volt anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So that is looking for fours to wound. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds at eight. It uh, doesn't make a difference. So six, seven, um, seven four ups. Fails one, two, three of them. Six up, feel no pains. No, so he's going to take three damage. And then the cultist knives. That is re-rolling that one. All right, these are again wounding on strength five, so. Oh, strength six, because there's plus one strength. No, oh, no, no, strength five, strength five. So uh, wound on fours, that's one AP nothing. So three up. No, six up. No. And then into the ethereal over there with three guys. Re-rolling ones. All righty. These are going to be wounding on strength five, toughness three. So threes to wound. So these two sixes are AP minus four. So those are just going to go straight through. Uh, six up, feel no pain. So he's going to ignore one of them. And then we've got two, uh, three other um, AP minus ones. So sixes on those. And then again, making one of those. He's still going to be alive. Yep, he's going to be with one wound left. And then the cultist knife. That's going to be two hits. One wound. Oh, boy, here we go. No AP. So five up save. Oh, he's good. And then into the uh, fire warrior squad over here with the one guy. Rerolling that one. That's going to be one hit. Uh, no wound. And the cultist knife. Uh, nothing. And now my rock grinder here is going to attack into the red squad here. So he's going to have D6 attacks because he's in the second profile there. So three attacks plus D3 attacks plus two attacks. So it's going to be five total attacks coming in here. Hitting on fours. That's going to be two hits. Uh, one second. And then these are going to be strength nine. So twos to wound. That's going to be two wounds. AP minus two. Six up saves. Because they have four up normal there. No, so they are, and then it's a D3 damage a piece. So the first one is going to be one. Uh, nope, that's a dead guy. And then one again. 
Yeah, he's dead too. All right, so now my acolyte squad here is going to go. Three of them are going to attack can attack into the red squad here, including my leader. So these are going to be hitting on threes. All right, they got no cold icon there. Wounding on threes. That's going to be two wounds. One of them's AP minus four. One's AP minus one. So AP minus four is going to go through, and then we'll do the AP minus one armor save. So five up save. He does make that one, and then a six up for the one that went through. No, that's a dead guy. And now my Patriarch over here is going to attack in. He's got six attacks. Uh, hitting on threes because they're minus one to hit. All righty. So that's going to be two misses there. These are going to be strength six. So wounding on threes. Rerolling because of monstrous rending claws. Rerolling because of monstrous rending claws. So that's going to be three wounds there. Uh, this one is AP minus six. Uh, flat three damage. So that's just going to kill a guy. And then these are going to be AP minus three D3 damage. So two six ups. So that's going to be uh, fails on those ones. And then we've got, uh, no, these are D3. So the first one is going to do two. Feel no pains. Because of the drone over there. Nope, that's going to be a dead guy. D3 on the next one. Three. That's going to be a dead guy. And then uh, flat three on the on the last one because of that. Well, the, you can roll the feel no pains on that one, right? Even though it went through the armor? Yeah. No, so that's going to be three dead guys. And then my rock grinder is going to attack into his um, into his guys over there. So we're going to have the um, you're going to have the uh, what call it? These are going to be the he has D six attacks. He's in the second profile there. So three plus D three. Those D six plus D three. So again, five attacks coming in here. These are going to be hitting on fours. That's going to be three uh, two hits. These are going to be strength um, nine. So threes to wound. Toughness five, so threes to wound. That's going to be one wound, AP minus two. Six up, nope, and D3 da D, uh, D three damage. Three damage into him. And then my acolytes over here are going to attack. Hitting on threes. Strength four, so looking for fives to wound. So that's going to, these two are going to be AP minus four, and then one is going to be AP minus one. So AP minus four is going to go through, and then AP minus one for this one. So that's going to be five up save. Makes that one. So two wounds go through. So one's going to kill a guy and then move on. Does he explode? He does not. So it just goes one wound on to the next one. And then their cultist knife attacks. That's going to be three hits. It's going to be one wound, regular AP. Four up save. Good. And now the Prawn is going to attack back into my guys over there. Hitting on sixes. Uh, no hits there. And now the Stealth Suits are going to attack back into my Patriarch over there. Five. Fives to hit. That's going to be one hit. Strength. Four, so fives to wound. No, no wound. And now his Fire Warriors here are going to attack into me. So there's uh, five guys there, including the leader. Hitting on uh, four. Fives. Hitting on fives. That is a lot of hits there. Ooh, buddy. Strength three, toughness three, so four is to wound. That is going to be four wounds. No AP. Five up saves. Making one, so three dead. And now the Ethereal is going to attack in over here. Three attacks. Oh, looking for threes. Threes to hit. That's going to be two hits. Strength five, so threes to wound. That is two wounds. No AP. Five up saves. Nope. And now the Cold Star is going to attack. Four attacks hitting on threes. That's going to be one hit. Threes to wound. No, nothing. And now these guys are going to attack into my acolytes over here. Hitting on fives. Not bad. Well, that's about even, actually. That's about, about, about right. What it would have been. And then uh, wounding on fours. That's going to be two wounds. Making one. And as Riptide is going to attack back here, minus one to hit, so he's hitting on sixes. Getting one hit. So two's to wound. That's a wound. Minus one, but a six up is good. Woo! All right, so that's going to be it for the uh, Gene Steeler Cult turn here. Uh, Could have done better. <laughs> Uh, so this squad over here, they lost 10 guys, so they're going to be losing D6 plus uh, D6 plus um, two uh, models there. Oh, you fill-facing jerk face. 
Oh boy, losing eight models. That ain't that ain't that ain't great. So uh, we will come back to you <laughs> with the cars that I scored. All right. So uh, I did score object secure objective five because uh, my acolytes over here are objective secured, so they get to get that one, uh, which gets me two points because my opponent had chosen that as the the one that he didn't think I was going to get. I did get behind enemy lines with at least three units. I got a lot of units back over here in his deployment zone. Uh, so it's going to be D three points for three points there. Pretty good. And then I got Master of the Warp. I did cast three powers, so it's going to be D3 for two for that one. So uh, pretty good points turn. Not very good tactical turn. <laughs> so we'll come back to you after uh, with the cards drawn for the Tau here on turn two. All right, so Tau still had Defend Objective 3 and Assassinate, and then he drew uh, Domination. So having to hold D3 plus 3, or having a D3 plus 3 for holding all the objectives on the table, which is going to be difficult. So we're going to come back to you after movement phase for the Tau. Movement phase for the Tau here on turn 2. Um, his uh, Riptide here uh, fell back out of combat. I told him he didn't have to, but he had decided... Nah, I think I want to get away from the saws. <laughs> Moved over here. All of the fire warriors here fell back into combat with my Gadoo bros over here. Uh, these guys kind of shuffled around, making a line of um, of to annoy my guys over here, trying to come this way. Shadow Sun and the other co uh, commander uh, moved over this way, include and the Ethereal, his uh, non Warlord Ethereal moved over this way. His Warlord Ethereal stayed uh, just moved up on top of the building over here. Uh, the Devilfish stayed still, but the Breacher Squad disembarked over here, and the Kadra Fireblade uh, disembarked into the building over there. His um, stealth suits fell out of combat with my Patriarch, and they're inside the building here. The drones jumped up on top of the building. Uh, the Piranhas fell back out of combat over this direction, and his uh, suits out of Deep Strike dropped down over here, so that they are within all of this business over here. And he, his other Cold Star Commander here, super jumped over this way uh, onto this objective uh, moving really really fast so that's going to be it for the movement phase for the Tau here on turn two we'll come back to you with the shooting phase all right so starting off here his dude bro is going to fire into my jackal alphys uh, minus one to hit because she's just minus one to hit uh, so these are going to be hitting on fours re-rolling ones to hit and to wound because of his uh, relic there so one hit strength Eight, so twos to wound. That's a wound. AP minus four is going to go straight through. One second. All right, no invul save. So within half range, ooh, doing two damage. My opponent's going to spend a CP to reroll that one there. And with that six, she is dead. Now his uh, Kadra Fireblade here is going to fire his Markalite into my Patriarch over there. Hitting on a three because he moved, rerolling ones. That's good. Shadow Sun's now going to fire into my Rock Grinder over here. So what do you want to do first? Missiles first. Two. Two's to hit. That's kind of be hot. That's two hits. Strength seven. Seven, so three's to wound. That's two wounds. Minus one. AP minus one, so we've got five up armor saves. Making neither of those the damage. D3 each. So that's gonna be three, four damage. Ignoring on a six up. Uh, don't ignore any of them, so it is dead. Does it explode? No. Now his devil fish is gonna fire into my three man acolyte squad here. Uh, hitting on sixes because he's wounded over there. Rerolling ones though. Nope, no hits. And eight shots. Rerolling at ones, those ones. No, nothing. The stealth suits are gonna fire into my patriarch over there. Fours. That's gonna be one hit. Strength eight, so threes to wound. That is no wound. Now this squad of fire warriors is going to fire into my guys here in rapid fire range. So that's going to be 10 shots. Hitting on fours. And threes to wound. That's going to be what? Two. Two wounds over there. AP nothing, right? So plus one because they're in cover there. Four ups. Making one, failing one. All right, so now my opponent's breachers here is going to spend one CP for, uh, what's it called? One second. It basically, it's uh, going to increase their range to 15 inches. Yeah. Pulse onslaught. Pulse onslaught. Increase their range to 15 inches. And then he's going to have three of them fire into these guys over here. And then he's going to have the rest of them firing into those guys back over there. So which one's first? Into the two-man squad over here first. Four. Hitting on fours. All right. That's going to be two hits. Strength what? Strength six. Strength six. So wounding on twos. 
That's one wound. AP minus two, minus two so plus one because they're in cover. Six up serve. No, he did. And now all the shots into my other guys over there. Hitting on fours. Wounding on twos. That is going to be two, four, six, seven. Seven looking for six up saves. Nothing. They did. Now his piranhas are going to fire. Uh, one's going to fire into my ridge runner. One is going to fire into my dude bro over here. So we'll do the one over here first. So we'll do the four shots with an AP. On fours to hit. That's going to be three hits. Strength five. So three's to wound. That is going to be three wounds at AP minus one. Um, so it's going to be plus one because they're in cover. Five up saves. Almost. No, he did. And now these are going to be the non-AP shots first into my ridge runner over there. Hitting on fours. That's going to be a bunch of hits there. And then uh, strength five, looking for fours to wound. That is going to be five wounds. So we have five, four, uh, AP nothing, so four up saves. And then he's got a six up, uh, ignoring wounds because of the flare launcher. Oh, takes one. And now the AP shot's going into him. That's going to be three hits. Four's the wound. That's going to be one wound. Five up save. Yeah, with that fill purse. And now his Cold Star Commander here is going to fire into my Patriarch. We're going to go with the uh, two the two shots, right? Yeah. Okay, so these are the, uh, what are these called again? Missile pods. Missile pods. Rerolling ones, hitting on twos. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Reroll that one. Okay, that's going to be two hits. Strength seven. Seven, so threes to wound. That's going to be one wound. AP minus two. Uh, he has a four up invul save because of the amulet of the void worm. Yeah, he good. And eight shots from his high output burst cannon. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Okay, that's going to be all hits. These are going to be strength five, five so five, fours to wound. That's going to be one, two, three, four, four. So we've got four, four up invul saves. Uh, failing one of them. All right, so now his uh, crisis suits here are going to fire. Two of them are in range of my rock grinder, and one of them is in range of my ridge runner. They do have the relic that allows them on sixes to get double hits. So we're going to go into which one first? Into the ridge runner first. So eight shots from this one guy over here, hitting on fours. All right, that's real good. Uh, plus one hit because of that guy. Excellent. These are now going to be strength five, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be one, two, three wounds. Three at AP minus two. So these are going to be looking for, um, oh, one second. Six is to save. Making one, six is to ignore. Making none. And then the 16 shots from those two guys into them. Fours to hit. So we had one extra hit there. That's what that three is representing. These are going to be uh, yeah, wounding on five. Strength five, toughness seven. Ooh. Getting four at AP minus two. So we got four um, six up saves. Making one of them. And then uh, six up. Uh, Ignoring wounds. I can't remember what the name of it is called. Stur Rugged construction. Thank you, sir. Contra fire blade over here is going to fire his markerlite into my neophytes over here. Two to hit. That's a hit. All right. So now his uh, dude bro here is going to fire his main guns into my squad of neophytes, and he's going to fire the missiles into my acolytes with the rock saws. Uh, these are going to be hitting on sixes because of mass hypnosis. Rerolling ones though into the squad here because of the uh, markerlite. There's another one there. Reroll. Okay, one hit. Slow down, pal. Moving on, or three. Strength what? Strength six. Six is two's to wound. That's a wound. AP minus two. That's a dead guy. Six up in Vol save because of Bladed Cog. I forgot about that. Nope, he did anyway. And then eight shots into my rock saws over here. Not re-rolling ones. Still two hits. Strength what? Five. Five, so threes to wound. That's two wounds. Minus two. So that would be uh, nothing but because of bladed cog six up saves. Oh, and I make one. And now this squad's going to fire. One of them's going to fire into my rock saw. The other four are going to fire into my aberrants over here. So we're going to go into the rock saw first. Hitting on uh, fours. That's going to be one hit. That could be a wound. And here come the other shots into the aberrants. Pretty good. Threes to wound. 
That is going to be, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. AP, no AP, so five up armor saves. Making one of them, and then five up ignoring wounds. Ignoring two of them. So one's dead, and one takes a wound. One already had a wound, so that's two dead. All right, so now this squad here in the uh, assault phase is going to charge into my rock saw guy. Let's see if he can get overwatch. No, nothing there. Here comes his charge. And he is way in. So here comes his attacks. He's going to have six attacks into him. Hitting on fives. Ooh, getting that one hit. Strength three, looking for a four to wound. Oh, it's a wound. Five up armor save. No, he's dead. All right, at the end of the turn, my opponent did get one point for assassinate for killing the Jackal Alphys. And then he did get domination. So he's got D3 plus three. So D3 rolls the one. So four, uh, five points to him. So that's going to leave us at 10 to seven after uh, turn two here. So we'll come back to you with the cards for the Gene Stealer Cult on turn three. All right, so I drew no prisoners, secure objective six and secure objective four. My opponent's going to make secure objective four uh, the difficult one, or the plus one, not difficult one, plus one point if I can score it. So that's going to be it for uh, the cards here. We'll come back to you after movement phase. Movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn three. My patriarch here advanced up this way. Uh, these guys all just moved up over this way. Uh, these guys all moved up over this way. My neophytes here moved up over this way. My uh, rock grinder moved up over this way. My ridge runner stayed still. My patriarch advanced up over this way. And in from Deep Strike Reserve came my last unit, my five, my 10 man squad with the hand flamers dropping here nine inches away from his Cold Star Commander over here. So that's gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, we're going to start off again with him casting Mass Hypnosis onto his uh, Riptide over here. So this is going to be, he gets plus one because he's not within range of this guy. So he's only getting plus one for the other uh, Magus over there. Uh, that one's cocked. That will go off on a 10 or 11. And then he's going to try to cast the Bladed Cog Power onto my Patriarch. Uh, six, seven will go off because of the plus one there. So he'll have a five plus, feel no pain. And then my other guy here is gonna smite into them. That will go off, so D3 mortal wounds, two mortal wounds. Now my Patriarch here is going to cast Mental Onslaught onto his Riptide over here. So let's see if it goes off. On a nine, it will go off. All right, so his leadership is eight minus 10, so I'm gonna get plus two to this dice roll here. Roll the five, so that's gonna be a mortal wound. Uh, plus, uh, that was, was it cocked? All right. Uh, plus three, so that's going to be another mortal wound. Four plus two is six. That's going to be a mortal wound. Another mortal wound. Another mortal wound. So is that five? Another mortal wound. Six. Seven. and he's dead. And that's six and eight. That's eight mortal wounds onto him Whoa, there. Man. That killed him. All right. So the rock saws couldn't do anything. It just took the brain of a patriarch <laughs> to take down him. Does he explode? Do they explode? They don't explode. So he's just dead. And then my other patriarch is going to do might from beyond onto himself. That's going to go off at a 10. All right. So now my ridge runner is going to put his heavy mining laser into the piranhas over here. And he's going to put the heavy stubber into the um, devil fish over here. So let's do the heavy stubbers first. So he's going to have six attacks with those, hitting on fours because he didn't move. That's going to be two hits, looking for fives to wound. One wound, regular save, no minus. Three up save. Yeah, he good. And now the heavy mining laser, D3, two shots, hitting on fours. It's going to be one hit, uh, wounding on a three. That's a wound, AP minus three into the double. This goes through, so it's gonna be D6 damage. Five damage, that front is dead, does he explode? He does. So when he explodes, he's gonna do one damage to the breachers, these guys, and then his friend over here. My rock grinder is gonna fire into the stealth suits. The only thing he can shoot is the uh, flamer because the stubber is gonna be hitting on sevens because they're minus a bajillion there. Uh, so this, and he, uh, he actually moved, so that means even anything else that's not minus would still be impossible to hit. So these are gonna be uh, 2d6 auto hits. Getting six auto hits. Strength five, T4, so threes to wound. 
That is going to be all wounds. So that's going to be six wounds at AP minus one. So three up saves. Makes all of them. Well done. Now my neophyte squad over there is going to fire. The minor laser is going to fire into the uh, devilfish. Everything else is going to fire into his drones up there. So we're going to go with uh, the, the minor laser first. Not going to be a hit. Uh, so then we'll do the grenade launcher into the drones. Minus one to hit. That's not going to be a hit. And then we got a bunch of uh, auto gun shots. All right, these are going to be hitting on fives because of the minus one to hit to those drones as well. So that's going to be two, four, six hits here. Strength three, toughness four. So looking for fives to wound. That is two wounds, four up saves. Uh, are they infant? One second. All right, so here comes, they're going to have a three up because of cover over there. They make both. Now this squad's going to fire the mining laser and the grenade launcher going to fire into the two man squad. So we'll do mining laser first. That's a hit. <laughs> not a wound. And then the grenade is not a hit. And then the autogun shots into uh, those guys hitting on fours. And then wounding on fours. That is, wow, that's real good there. So that's going to be three, six, seven. D6 shots? D6 shots? D6 shots? No AP. No AP. Four. Four up saves. One, two, at least three. So that squad, uh, four. So that squad is white. All right, so now my Primus is going to fire his needle pistol into his um, uh, Cadre Fireblade over there. Uh, hitting on a two. That's a hit. Wounding on a two because that's what the needle, blade, uh, needle thing does. That's a wound. AP nothing, though. So... Four. Four up save. Uh, three up in three up because he's in cover. Do we get over no, D3 damage. Three damage to him. Six up, feeling the pain. No, no takes it all. All right, that's going to be it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. This squad of acolytes is going to charge into his um, into his Cold Star commander over here. So that's going to be uh, three shots here on Overwatch. Six is re-rolling ones. One hit. Uh, strength eight, right? So two. That's a dead guy. Oh, six up. Ignore uh, invul save because of bladed croc. Bladed croc. Bladed crocs. No, not gonna make it. There. They need a nine inch charge. Oh man! And now this guy is gonna charge into these guys over here. Ten shots. Six is to hit. One hit. Uh, no wound there. So this is uh, looking for a charge distance. And he should on five. Yeah, he was good. All right, so now my aberrants here are going to charge into all of the guys over here, including Shadow Sun. Uh, so uh, what are we going to do first? Marker light from him first. Six to hit. No, nothing there. All right, so these are going to be the shots from the, uh, the Fire Warriors first. 18 first and then 18 again. So hitting on sixes, getting two hits the first round. And then the next round... 18 again. One more. And plus another five. So that's going to be seven total. And these are going to be uh, against tough strength five. Boon on threes. So that's going to be four. No AP. All right, so then four. No AP on these. So looking for five up armor saves. Making... Nope, not on that one. So making uh, one so far, and then five up, ignoring wounds. Oh, making two of those, he takes one wound. And now Shadow Sun's gonna attack. Six is, no, nothing there. And then here come our missiles. Ooh, getting one hit. Strength seven, so uh, threes to wound. That's a wound, AP minus one, so six up, armor save. Nope, not gonna go through, D3 damage. Two damage, which becomes one. And I take it. All right, so I need a nine inch charge to get into his uh, Cadre Fireblade and a 10 inch charge to get into uh, his Shadow Sun over there. So here we go. Come on, baby. High dice numbers. Nope. That's low as you freaking can go. <laughs> All right, so now my um, my Rock Grinder here is going to charge into the Devilfish. So uh, he's going to fire Overwatch here. Uh, the hitting AP ones. AP ones, hitting on sixes. No, nothing there. And then the non-AP, hitting on sixes. Getting one. Yeah, Not going to wound, though. Fire. It's charge distance. His way in. Now my Patriarch here is going to charge into all these units. Uh, no overwatch because of the amulet of the Void Worm. 
And on a 12, he's in. All right, so starting off the fight phase, he's going to attack into the piranha over here. He's within three. I managed to charge and then consolidate to within three inches over here, but not in com uh, combat with these guys, so they can't pile in to get closer. So if I can kill this with my seven attacks, I can get uh, uh, I can deny him that, uh, which is pretty good. So these are going to be seven attacks hitting on twos. That is going to be all hits. Uh, wounding on threes because of strength from beyond. Rerolling. Wow. That was a bunch there. Okay, those two sixes are AP minus uh, six, three flat damage. He's dead. Does he explode? He does not. All right, so now my rock grinder is going to attack into his devil fish here. I've got two D3 attacks. So it's D3 for it because he's in the lowest profile plus D3 because of the blade. So that's going to be three, four, five attacks. This seems to be what he likes to, to get attacks in. So these are going to be uh, hitting on fours. That's going to be three hits. Strength is... Uh, one second. Yep, strength nine, so looking for threes to wound. That's going to be two wounds at AP minus two. Five ups. Makes one, fails one. D, uh, one D3. Oh, well, he's, does he have a feeling of pain? He does have a feeling of pain. Yep, so it's uh, D3 damage. Well, just the one. Here we go. Feel no pain. No, so he is dead. Does he explode? No, he does not. And then my Patriarch over here, he's going to have seven attacks because of his Biomorph Adaptation Warlord trait. Hitting on twos. Ooh, Nelly. That's not great. Here we go. Wounding on twos. That's going to be all wounds there. AP minus three minimum. So they're all, that's three dead guys. All right, so now these guys get to attack back over here since he didn't maul them to death. So here we go. Hitting on fives. That's going to be two hits. <laughs> Strength three, so fives to wound. No, no wounds there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was pretty good, but now they have to take a leadership test. They lost three guys, so three plus uh, four is seven. They are good to go because they're uh, Shazui. Yeah, I got it right. I can't remember Pathfinder, but I can remember Shazui when you haven't even mentioned it once this entire game. <laughs> uh, so they're good to go here. And that's going to be it for the uh, Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn three. Um, I didn't get Secure Objective four or six, but I did get no prisoners, and I managed to kill three units. Uh, giving me D3 uh, command uh, D3 points with three points with that fill face. That was really that was really key. Uh, and I think I'm going to get rid of secure objective four uh, because I think it's going to be more difficult to get that one. Uh, so that's going to be it for um, that's going to be it for the uh, Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn three. We'll come back to you with the cards for um, the um, uh, Tau here on turn three. Oh, it should be also worth noted he didn't score defend objective three because I managed to get over there and we are contesting it. So he lost it and then has to start back over again if he wants to keep trying on that one. So that's going to be it. We'll come back to you with the cards. All right, so Tau drew defend objective three, or still have defend objective three, drew advance and no prisoners. Uh, so I'm going to make advance the harder one because he, he can do it, but it means that he has to do like a lot of things that he's not really wanting to do to try to get it. So if, the more I can do to make his life miserable, <laughs> the better for me. <laughs> so we'll come back after movement phase. All right, moving phase for the Tau. These guys fell out of combat with my uh, spike monster over here. Uh, these guys advanced out of his deployment zone, as did these two guys, as did his ethereal over here. Shadow Sun just moved out of the deployment zone over here. Uh, his other cold star here moved up over here. This cold star moved from there to this building. These guys all moved around over here, looking around. Uh, but on the objective over there, the drones followed this cold star. This ethereal advanced as well, but just oh, just moved over there. Just moved over here. And uh, these guys all stayed in there on the objective. And this guy over here. He wasn't going to be able to advance out of the object out of there, so he just decided to move him over this way to try to charge and get him killed, <laughs> so that he can score advance and get the two points that I because I gave that plus one there. So, like I said, making him do things he doesn't want to do, maybe it'll be worth it, and maybe I'll just try to slap him with my hands instead of using my uh, hammers, and then we'll see what happens. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so his Cold Star Commander up here is going to fire into my Patriarch, hitting on twos. Rerolling ones because of his Relic. No need to. Strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. Rerolling ones. No need to. So that's going to be three wounds. Four up, invul save because of the Amulet of the Void Worm. 
Making them all. Woo! Cold Star 2, Electric Boogaloo is going to fire into my guy over here. Uh, hitting on twos as well. Re does not get to reroll him. So this is uh, strength seven. seven, so threes to wound. That's a wound. AP minus three, so four up in save because of Amulet of the Void Worm. Yeah, 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 Phil first. And then the high output burst cannon hitting on twos. No rerolls here. Strength five, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be two wounds at AP. Minus one, so still four ups. Yeah! Stealth suits are going to fire into my rock grinder over here. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. No rerolls. Shadow Sun's going to fire everything into my rock grinder over here. So we're doing, uh, which are we doing first? Fusions first. Fused fusions. Uh, re no rerolls. So that's going to be three hits. Strength eight. So threes to, oh, strength seven. Still threes to wound. Oh, no, no. Fours to wound. But still, two wounds there. Um, going to go straight through the armor. And then that's going to be um, 2d3 damage. Pick the highest for the first one. Three. And then the next one. Three as well. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be six damage. I need to make five of these for him to survive. Six up. Ignoring wounds. Come on, baby. You can do it. No, you can't make any of them. So he is dead. But does he explode? No, he does the opposite of it. So he heals himself. That's what it is. He's still alive. Hey! <laughs> All right, so now this squad here is going to fire everything into my Patriarch. They're closer to anybody else. Uh, he's also going to spend one CP to allow it to have a close range at 15 inches here. So they're going to be firing uh, their close range shots into them. So these are going to be hitting on fours, correct? Because they didn't, or did they move? They did. Buddy. They did. Oh, but they're not, they're assault weapons. They're not heavy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, oh yeah, I'm thinking marker lights. I don't know why I was thinking that. So here we go. These are going to be hitting on fours. No rerolls. Back to that. Strength six, so threes to wound. All right, so seven four up saves, making all but one. Oh man, he is not going to die. And now his gun drones here that disembarked from the devilfish are going to fire into him over here. Eight shots, hitting on fives. All right, so getting four hits. That's not bad. And these are going to be strength five, so fours to wound. That's going to be one wound. AP nothing, so th uh, three up armor save because he gets plus one for the amulet of the void worm. Ooh, he takes a wound to that one. His uh, Kadra fire blade is going to fire into my neophytes over there. Hitting on twos because he didn't move. Rerolling ones because of the drone. Reroll that one. That's a hit. Wounding on threes. Strength five. That's going to be one wound. AP nothing. So five up. No, dead guy. So now these guys are going to fire. Four of them are going to fire into my Patriarch. Two of them are going to fire into my Acolytes over here. So we're going to go with the four into the uh, uh, Patriarch first. We're going to do it two at a time just because it's a lot of dice. So these are going to be hitting on threes. He did spend two CP to get him the plus one to hit. So that's why hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Treated as having five marker. Oh, it's treated as having five marker lights is the issue. So that's why you're rerolling ones and hitting on threes because it's plus one to hit. Yeah. So reroll those ones. Ooh, baby. Sixes are extra hits. Ooh, baby. So that's going to be uh, two misses, but those sixes are extra hits because of their weapons. So it's like everything hit. There we go. 100% accuracy. Strength five, so wounding on fours. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. How many is that? Six. Six. So we'll do this one first before you roll the other ones to see if it's necessary. So these are going to be six four-up saves because it's at least AP minus one. Oh, no. Four, and he is dead. So he can take all of, like, the fusions to the face, but he can't take, like, a bunch of just, like, zippy doodads over to him. So he is dead. And then the two into these guys are going to be hitting on fours, no rerolls. All right. So because of his seven sixes on that, he's got 100% accuracy yet again. That is awesome. So now these are going to be wounding them on threes. That is one, two. Wow. We'll come back to that. AP minus two, 12 of these. So six up in vol because of bladed cock. Yeah, no, they're dead. <laughs>
All right, so that's going to be it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. He's charging into all my guys over here. I'm not firing Overwatch because I can fire Overwatch, but I don't want to because I don't want him dead. I'm trying to deny these points here. So here we go. These are going to be uh, charge distance here. Oh, he's way in. All right, so here he goes. He's in there. He's got all four of these guys engaged. None of my characters, though. So uh, now he's going to attack into my aberrants. Uh, so he's going to have four attacks. Three attacks. Three attacks. Hitting on threes. That's going to be two hits. Strength three. So looking for a fives to wound. That's going to be one wound. Looking for a five up save. No, five up ignoring wounds. Yeah, he's good. All right, so my guys have consolidated over here. I'm just going to use my regular close combat weapons, not my hammers. Because I don't want to kill him with his two wounds left there. So I've got eight attacks here, hitting on threes. There we go, Dice. Thank you so far. Doing my job. And then these are going to be strength uh, strength six with uh, twisted uh, with twist, uh, with uh, twisted helix. Wounding on twos. Okay, three. Can you fail? Two of those three? Let's find out. Money. The wrong way. Here we go. He oh no, he <laughs> failed exactly two! Oh no! I've never been so disappointed to kill a Tau in my entire life. Oh man. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> All right, so he did get him, but at least I got my three-inch movement up that way. So, uh, because of that, my opponent does score advance with the plus one because that's the one that I uh, I went for with that one. So he's going to have two points for that one. Um, he does start defend objective three again. Uh, <laughs> trying it for the third time now. And then uh, he did get no prisoners. Who did you kill? You killed uh, one, two... Three, three units. So he did get the D3 from that because he killed the, the Acolytes, my Patriarch, and then the Rock Grinder over there. So D3 for two points there. So scoring four points on this turn is not bad and starting up that one. Oh, yeah. Two, four. Yeah, two, four. And he's starting on this one. So we'll come back to you uh, with the cards drawn for the Gene Stealer Colt on turn four. All right, so I drew secure objective six, Martyrs to the Cause, uh, which is gets me a, if uh, any models were killed because of unquestioning loyalty, I get a point other than characters. And then I got Claim Dominion, uh, D3 victory points if I control an objective marker that was controlled by an opponent at the start of the turn. There's a couple good options for that, but we'll see what happens. So that's going to be it for the cards. We'll come back to you after movement phase. Move phase for the uh, the Gene Stealer Cult. He advanced up over this way. He moved around the corner over here. These guys moved up there, controlling that objective. These guys moved up. He advanced. He's not in range over there. And then these guys, and I keep forgetting to use his ability. Uh, and then this guy uh, advanced up there to get next to them. These guys just moved up over here, and these guys advanced over here. So that's going to be it for the uh, movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, we're going to start off the psychic phase with my uh, patriarch here casting mental onslaught onto his ethereal up there, his warlord. So let's see if it goes off. And on a nine, it will go off. So now we will roll d6 against each other. Three and a three. I have a higher leadership than him, and he is dead with that one. And and no feel no pain because he had to be the one to help them advance had to get the reroll to advance to make sure they got out of there for his advance so that will be slay the warlord this guy over here is going to cast smite he's not the one with the plus one so it's just a regular one that is going to go off d3 mortal wounds three mortal wounds so that squad is dead so now this guy is going to cast smite looking for a six for this to go off he does have it go off uh, plus one so that's going to be d6 mortal wounds onto this squad here <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and then he's going to give these guys a feel no pain on that eight it'll go off so now this squad's going to fire mining laser and grenade launcher into him uh auto guns into that white squad there so we're going to mining laser first four because of that nope grenade launcher that is a hit there we go that's a wound ap minus one Five. Five up. No, he's going to be dead. And then seven auto gun shots into them over there. Oof, okay. And wounding on fours. Getting two wounds. No AP. Four ups. They're good. These guys here are going to fire everything into the breachers, so we're going to go with the mining laser first. 
That is not a hit. Grenade launcher. That is a hit. That's a wound. AP minus one. Five up. Good. 13 auto gun shots into them. That's going to be hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five. AP nothing. Four ups. Failing two, three of them. Six up feeling pain from this guy because he did the sense of stone. No, that's a dead. And this guy over here is going to fire into them. That's a hit. Wound on a two. That's a wound. AP nothing. Four up. They're good. And then he's going to fire everything into the Cold Star Commander. We'll start with the mining laser. D3 shots. Getting two shots here. Uh, hitting on fives because he moved. That's going to be one hit. That is not a wound. And then the heavy stubbers. That is going to be one. That's a wound, though. Regular save. Three up. No, takes it. Six up, feel no pain. Still takes it. All right, so that's going to be it for shooting into the assault phase. My aberrants are going to charge into uh, Shadow Sun over here. So he's going to uh, greater good with these guys over here. These are going to be hitting on sixes. All right, so that's going to be four hits there. Uh, five hits, sorry, my bad. Uh, strength five, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be three wounds. I forgot my dice. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be three, no AP, so five up saves. Making none of them. Five up, ignoring wounds. Ignoring two of them. And now Shadow Sun's going to uh, fire. Fusions. Getting one. Two hits. Oh, nice. Strength seven. Strength seven, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be one wound. AP minus four is going to go through the armor. So then they're within, they're within nine inches, so... Yeah, yeah, so double range, D two D3, take the highest. So two becomes one, five up ignoring wounds. Yeah, with that fill face. And then the missiles. That's gonna be no hits. So here we go, I need an eight inch charge to make it in. Yeah. All right, so now my patriarch here is gonna charge into these guys because they graded good, no overwatch from them. And he's in. And now my uh, Primus is gonna charge into these guys. A uh, six inch will not get him in. So now my aberrants are going to attack into Shadow Sun over here. So I'm going to have um, f uh, f eight, I'm going to have eight attacks with them, two attacks each. These are going to be hitting on fours because of the minus one because of unwieldy, and then and she's just innately a minus one to hit. So these are going to be hitting on fives actually. So here we go. Okay, that's still a lot of hits. I'll take that. And the Primus is actually in range there, so because I gave him uh, Alien Majesty, but no fours were there. So it's just going to be these four hits. Uh, these are going to be Strength 10 because of Twisted Helix. Uh, oh, no, Strength 12. <laughs> so still wounded on twos. That is going to be four wounds at AP minus three. Five up invul saves. Oh, fails them all. That is 12 damage. I don't believe she has more than that. Oof. So they consolidated in over here, and now my Patriarch's going to put all his attacks into this squad. Seven attacks, hitting on twos because he's of a Warlord trait. Oof, boy. Almost ruined it again. Uh, strength, uh, it's strength base six, which becomes strength seven, so looking for twos to wound, re-rolling. Re-rolling! Thank you for your monstrous rending claws. Four. Again, I can't kill an entire squad with this guy. Uh, but that's going to be AP minus three on all of them except for this one, which is AP minus six. So uh, four of that squad are dead. All right, so now he gets to swing back at me. He's going to have three guys. We'll just do both squads together. Three guys are going to go into my uh, Patriarch over here, and then three are going to go into the Aberrant. So we'll do the three into the Patriarch first. May as well. Two and uh, So it's going to be four attacks because of one leader over there. Fives to hit. That's going to be one hit. Looking for a five to wound. That's cocked. That's a wound. Oh, boy. Into my Patriarch. Here we go. No, he takes a wound. Yeah, but I've got a five up ignoring wounds because of the uh, warlord of the uh, psychic power that I cast on with bladed cog. No, he still feels it. And then the same number of attacks into my aberrants over here. That's gonna be hitting on fives. There we go, three hits. Oh man, looking for fives. No wounds there. All right, so that's gonna be it for uh, the gene stealer cold turn here. He does have one leadership test to take here. They lost four, so four plus. Uh, six is auto pass because of what is it? Bonding knife. So. 
Crazy good. Okay, so that's what uh, go there. Uh, we'll come back to you with the cards that I scored. All right, so I did score uh, Claim Dominion because uh, these guys uh, took that objective away from them. So that's going to be D3 victory points for that one. For three victory points, I've been getting these good D3s. Um, and I did not get Martyrs for the cause, and I'm going to get rid of Secure Objective 6. So we'll, uh, my opponent did score Defend Objective 3, so he's got an additional two points for that, which is pretty good. So we'll come back to you. Oh, and I got Slay the Warlord as well. So four points for me this turn, uh, two points for my opponent. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the Tau on turn four. All right, so my opponent uh, drew Defend Objective 1, uh, which he's on currently. Uh, then you got Big Game Hunter and Ambush. So he can't get Big Game Hunter because he killed the one, the two things, three things that I had that you could have gotten. Um, and then Ambush is just kill things. So he should be should be getting some points this turn. So we'll see what happens. We'll come back to you after movement phase. Movement phase for the Tau. They are uh, tightening the noose, I think, around my, uh, my Patriarch Warlord over here. So these guys moved around over this way. Everybody is just... He, uh, the Ethereal moved away <laughs> smartly, uh, but everyone else is moving in closer to my Patriarch over here. Um, except for these guys, they moved away over this way. He stayed still back up on top there. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. It's Contra Fireblaze and it fires Marker Light into my dude bros down over here. On a two. On a two because he did not move. That's a hit. So now his uh, uh, stealth suits are going to fire into my dude bro over here. Um, Yep, hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. I reroll that one. So that's going to be one hit. Strength eight. So looking for three to wound. Tough five. That's a wound. Eight minus four is going to go through the armor. So now the damage. Not half. So it's going to be D6. Big money. Three damage. I've got a six up ignoring wounds because of flare launchers. And I ignore none of them, so he goes down to two. This cold star is going to fire into my patriarch over here. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. That's all hits. Strength eight, so threes to wound. That's going to be one wound. Four up in save because he's got the um, the uh, bladed cog uh, uh, relic. He's good. Now the breachers are going to fire into my patriarch over here. Hitting on fours. No rerolls. Okay. It's going to be five hits. Looking for strength five. Strength six. So uh, threes to uh, three to wound. That's going to be two, three wounds. Three four ups. Making two of them. One damage. Takes one. Oh, he's got the feel. Uh, they feel no pain. Five up because of the uh, the, the psychic power onto him. No, he feels it. Now the gun drones are going to fire into him. Hitting on fives. Getting two hits. Strength five. So looking for force to wound. Nothing. So now his cold star here is going to fire his burst cannon into my patriarch. And he's going to fire the missiles into my ridge runner. So we'll do the missiles first. Hitting on twos. That's going to be one hit. Wounding on a strength seven. So three to wound. No, no wound. Opponent's going to spend a CP to reroll that. No! And now the burst cannon, and, uh, high, uh, burst cannon's coming in here. Hitting on twos. That's going to be all hits. Strength is five, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five. All sixes. He really wants this. Uh, four up saves. <laughs> And I failed one of them. <laughs> uh, five up, feel no pain. Oh, he almost didn't, but he does. And now the crisis suits are going to fire. Four of them are going to fire into my uh, into my patriarch, and two are going to fire into my ridge runner. So we're going to the two into the ridge runner first, hitting on five fours, fours. Here we go. This is both of them. Fours to hit. All right. So he had one six there, which is good. So they're going to be hitting uh, wounded strength five. So fours to wound. Oh boy. So that's five wounds at AP minus two. So these are looking for six up armor saves. Making one of them. So then four, six up ignoring wounds. If I can make three sixes, he's still alive. And my opponent might punch me. <laughs> looking for sixes, fill faces. No, none. So he is dead. Oh, boy. All right, so now these guys are going to fire their fours into him. We're going to do two at a time here, hitting on fours. 
And then one six there, so these are going to be uh, hit wounding on strength five, so looking for fours to wound. Two, three wounds there. Three four up saves. Because he's got that invul save. Uh, failed two of them. Five up, ignoring wounds because of that psychic power. Ignoring both with fill faces. Woo! Round two. Electric Boogaloo. Go for it. Fours to hit. Sixes, though. You got the punch there. And here we go. These are going to be uh, wounding on fours. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So I've got eight wounds onto him here. On average, he should die. But let's see what happens here. Looking for four up saves. Oh, boy. Okay. So we made five of them, which is already above average. Now, on average, he should live. But my dice have a flair for the dramatic. So let's see what happens here. Five up, ignoring wounds. Oh, making two of them. He's still alive. All right, so into the assault phase, his breachers are going to charge into my patriarch over here. They're going to be in. And now the drones are going to come in over here. There he is, Aaron. And Cold Star is going to try to charge in over here. He's in. So we're going to start out with the Breachers over here. These are going to be hitting on fives. That's going to be two hits. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. All fives needs. to wound. No, nothing. Cold Star is going to attack in here. Four attacks. Four hitting on threes. That's all hits. Strength. So fours to wound. That's going to be four wounds. No AP, so a four up save because it doesn't get. He doesn't have the amulet of the void worm, he just has the bladed cog, which gives him a four up invul save. So this is going to be four. Looking for, um, yeah, looking for uh, uh, four ups. Making three of them. What's the damage? Just one. Five up, ignoring wounds. No, I feel that. Is he going to die to drones? Let's find out. Two attacks from the drones. Uh, one hit. Uh, oh boy. Four Strength five. four, so five to wound. Oh no, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Don't you dare do this. Don't you dare do this. Don't you dare die to a drone. Oh, with the fill face, he's good. All right, so now my patriarch is going to get the punch back. He's going to put two attacks into the drones over here because I want to get rid of that uh, savior protocol over there. So it's going to be two attacks hitting on twos. Uh, it's going to be one hit. And that's going to be a wound, AP minus uh, three on that one in the drone. So he is just dead. And then we have five into the uh, into Cold Star over there, hitting on twos. All righty, that's going to be four hits. Uh, strength, because uh, he's got the plus one strength, so he's going to be strength seven. So threes to wound. Uh, Rerolling because of Monstrous Rending Claws. So that's going to be four wounds. We'll start with the uh, these two first. So these are going to be uh, AP minus three. All four up, so we got the damage. So he's got to try to pass off on Savior Protocol. So the first one we'll do with this one. Two up. It does go off, so that's going to be a drone is dead. So now we've got three, but one of them is going to be a, uh, these because these are flat. So we have to do this one first. So this one's going to be a flat, uh, a four up invul save. He's good on that one. And then we've got two that are AP minus six, so four up invul saves. No, failed both of those. So that's going to be six damage flat onto him over there. He needs feel no pains. He has four left, so he needs to make a lot of these. No, he makes not. He makes one of them. So and he is. Oh no, not. Oh, it's six up. It's not even five. It's six up. So he is dead. All right. So my opponent is going to get rid of Big Game Hunter, and he did score ambush and started defend objective one. Um, so he uh, only killed one unit though. So he only gets one point for ambush. So we'll come back to you with the cards drawn for the dart uh, for the gene stealer cult here on turn five. All right, so I still had Martyrs to the Cause. I drew Secure Objective 2, uh, which is going to be possible for me to get. And then he uh, drew uh, Spring the Trap. Uh, I needed to come out of reserves, which is impossible now in turn 5 and with 0 CP. Uh, so needless to say, that's the one my opponent has decided to make uh, two points to make it harder for me to get. So uh, we will come back to you after uh, the movement phase here on uh, Gene Steel Cult on turn 5. Movement phase, my Patriarch stayed in combat over here. Uh, these guys advanced up here, these guys moved up here, and these guys moved in over this way. 
Uh, my two Magus uh, advanced up this way, we're only really low. And then this guy, these guys just moved over here, jumping onto objective two. So that's gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. Starting off, my Patriarch's gonna cast Smite onto the drone. That's gonna go off. So D3 mortal wounds, doing one mortal wound. He did. All right, then the green guy is gonna cast Smite, six. That'll go off with an 11, so that's gonna be doing D6 mortal wounds to this uh, path. Uh, these, I think it's these guys, because these guys are closer. Six mortal wounds, they're dead. Oh no, they might be within six. Are they? They're in, so that's gonna be six. Six up, feel no pains. Needs two to keep anyone alive. Makes one, which is still enough to kill that squad. And then the other guy is going to go into the uh, into the Pathfinder squad. There, he's going to need um, uh, seven to go off, but he gets plus one because of him being special. Nope, not going to make it. All right, starting off the shooting phase. This squad over here, the mining laser and the grenade are going to fire into the drone. All the auto guns are going to fire into the Dubro down there. So mining laser does not hit. Grenade launcher does not hit. Auto guns. Force wounds, two wounds, two eight, no AP, so four ups. Makes them both. And then this squad's gonna fire into the Kadra Fireblade. We're gonna go, oh no, the uh, mining laser and the grenade launcher are gonna fire into this, everything else in the Kadra Fireblade. So we're gonna do mining laser first. That's not a hit, grenade launcher, also not a hit. Wow, these guys have been doing real good. And then we're gonna do, uh, one second. Auto guns. Hitting on fours, wounding on fours. That's gonna be one, two, three wounds into the Kadra Fireblade up there. Threes. Makes them all. All right, so now into the assault phase, they're gonna charge into his Cold Star over here. So overwatching from the Cold Star. First cannon's coming in over here on sixes. That is gonna be one hit. That is on a three to wound, strength five. That's a wound. AP minus one, so six up armor save. No, feel no pain. No, one feels, uh, the one's dead there because there's one that was wounded. And then we got the missiles. Sixes, one hit. Three to wound. That's a wound. Minus three, so that's gonna go through the armor. Damage, D3, so D3. Three becomes two. Five ups. Oh, fail him. So that's going to be two dead guys. But the two that are left are going to charge right in. All right, so now these guys are going to attack into him over here. We're going to have four attacks hitting on threes because they're within nine inches of the Primus over there. That's going to be two hits. Wounding on three. That's toughness five, right? So threes to wound. That's two wounds at AP minus three. So four up invul saves. Making one, failing one, three damage. He's got a, is he's not within six? I don't know. Well, see, is he? No, just out of six. So that is going to be a dead dude, bro. And then seven attacks from a Patriarch over here. Oh man, they will, does not want to kill units. Crazy. Two's re-rolling. That's going to be four at AP minus three. So those are just going to go straight through, right? Or the other, feel no pain? So the first one is going to do D3, two. Dead. Second one is three. Yeah, he did. Third one is three. And these fell faces. Almost, but he's dead. And the third one's a flat three. No, he did too. And they get to attack back over here. Three attacks, including the leader. Five. Fives to hit. Getting one hit, that's all he needs. Five to wound. Oh, not enough. Uh, so you do have one leadership test to take over here. Plus four, so four plus, uh, uh, re-roll that, it's that cocked, yeah. Four plus uh, five is going to be nine. Uh, that's two run away. Oh, wait. And within six, so they're good because they use his leadership, so they're good to go over there. So that is gonna be uh, it. We didn't realize within six, otherwise we wouldn't have made you roll. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be it. I do secure, uh, secure objective two, getting me two points, and I'm going to get rid of uh, the 
um, the one that makes me come from yes, the where I can't yeah where I can't I can't come out of reserve. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. So we'll come back to you with the cards drawn for Tao here on turn five. All right, so uh, my opponent did uh, get uh, uh, control objective uh, or defend objective one. So we got two points for that. We are at 18 to 16 right now. And then my opponent drew secure objective one, secure objective five, and secure objective four. So um, uh, so it's going to be, um, we'll see. I think it's possible, very possible. So we'll see how it goes, especially defend objective, secure objective one. I think he's got that one. So it's by one point. But then he needs to get find another way to get two points. Otherwise, this game could end, and we'll see what happens. So we'll come back to you after movement phase. All right, movement phase for the Tau. These guys fell back out of combat with my spike monster over here. He stood still on that objective. The Ethereal stood still as well. These guys came around this way, looking to shoot up whatever they can. These guys came in closer to here, and he advanced onto the objective over there. Uh, so that is going to be the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. Starting off, his uh, his uh, stealth suits are going to fire into my aberrants over here with their fusion blasters. So we're going to two shots, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones because of the drones. That's going to be one hit, wounding on a, uh, a two to wound. No, no wound. Going to spend the last CP on that one. No. I got a t-shirt you might be interested in. This fire warrior here is going to be equidistant between my aberrants and he, so he's going to take his shots into him over here. Two shots, hitting on fours. That's one hit. Looking for a uh, strength five, so four to wound. No, no wound. So now these guys are going to fire. Two of them are going to fire into my aberrants. Everyone else is going to fire into my neophytes over there. So we're going to start with uh, just the two into the aberrants over here. These are going to be hitting on fours. Not re-rolling anything. Getting two sixes for extra hits there. Pretty good. These are going to be strength five, so looking for threes to wound. Oh, that's a lot. All right, we got 10 wounds, AP minus two, um, but they are uh, in cover there, so they're going to get a six up. Oh, they also get a uh, yeah, six up save because they are in cover over there. So I make two of those, and then five up ignoring wounds. Oh, get back your dice. No, he did. <laughs> oh. Then we're going to do two at a time into my dude bros back over there. Hitting on fours. We were getting four sixes. Ends up being like one less than like full shots on these ones. These are going to be strength five, so threes to wound on these guys. Oh boy. We're going to have six up invuls on these ten from the first uh, set. He's got another set coming, but uh, we're going to see if we even need it. Sixes! Making two of them, which is eight. That's the just enough to kill that squad. It left one guy left, but uh, you're just going to take that guy because he's not going to do it. And now these guys are going to charge into my warlord over here. Oh, they are in. And here comes his attacks in here. He's got five for his leader and three from the other guys that are going to be... Or, three from the leader, two from the other guys that are going to be attacking in over here. So all but one can get their attacks in. These are going to be hitting on fives. Oh boy. Getting a few. So that's going to be four. Strength five. So looking for fours to wound. That's going to be three wounds, three four ups. I don't have any AP minus one, so I'll still four up in vol save, but don't get to ignore any of these wounds because I did not get the psychic power on him. Oh, and he is dead. And that is Slay the Warlord. And that will be it for the Tau turn here on turn five. Uh, my opponent uh, scored all three of his objectives, so that's going to give him four points plus an additional one for Slay the Warlord, uh, bringing him to a grand total of um, of, 20, of 21 points uh, to my uh, 18 right now. So uh, we will come back to you with uh, cards. Yeah. All right, so that is going to be the uh, end of turn five. So we do have to roll up to see if we go on to another turn. Three up, we do. No, on a two, we will not. So that is the end of the game here. Uh, the final score is 21 points to Tau. Oh, no, he's actually, I think, in... Uh, Oh no, this is, <laughs> that's my deployment zone. <laughs> that's your deployment zone. I was thinking he was getting linebreaker here, but he's not, that's his deployment zone. So he's actually not anywhere near close to my deployment zone over there. So uh, that's gonna be 21 points to the Tau to 18 points to the Gene Stealer Cult. Man, that was a close, close game. 
Oh, man. And we had just, like, basically swapped sides of the table over here. Um, I didn't have a whole lot left here that I think if, even if the game had gone on, I don't think I was going to be able to score enough points to, to, to bring it back. But still, they didn't do bad. They didn't do bad. So the rest of these guys are going to drop into, like, a manhole cover or something and probably come back to haunt you again in the future. <laughs> Um, the new Tau rules are pretty good. The G C the Cole rules are okay. <laughs> um, I think that, you know, I like I really like the new the psychic power for the bladed cog. That was pretty cool. Um, but a lot of the other powers, they're so so and very situational. So uh, the Magus one is pretty good. I like that one. The plus to, to his casting and getting the extra power to get off is pretty good. But otherwise a little bit of uh, not as great, um, but you know, and again, and again, the Tau, he chose, he chose his set with his uh, set abilities there. Um, and he even told me, he's like, I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of competitive people doing this, but it's fun to be able to just try to change things around. And Shadow Sun, um, so she got in her new rules, allows her to be in a attachment that's not Tau set, but she remains Tau set. Um, but because of that, her abilities can't confer to the rest of the army because they're not, if they're, unless they're Tau set. So it'll probably be FAQ'd where she can do something with Tau unit, maybe, to Tau units, uh, just to let her in. But maybe it's also like a Gilliman thing where she could be there, but, you know, not do something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But it was cool to see her on the table doing some cool stuff and seeing the, the Tau uh, using their new nastiness. I'm telling you, those battle suits, the, the, the crisis suits, they are, they, are, they are nothing to mess with. Oh, baby. They're good. So... I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent has been Taylor. And until next time, have fun.